Hey YouTube, what is going on? Uh, in this video, I'm going to be talking about the new patch that came out today. It's the 18th of April, and uh, they Treyarch released like a new patch today, along with the new DLC that's going to come out tomorrow on the 18th. And um, for better or for worse, there's some things in this patch that I really dislike, and there's some things that I like about it. So let's talk about it. So the first thing that I noticed immediately was with the M8. Um, I don't know if they actually did this. I don't know if they actually changed the mechanic of this, but I don't have fast hands on this class, okay? But when I switch weapons, it feels a lot slower. And I read something about, like, like ADS time or something. Like, I don't know. It just feels like the M8, when you switch a gun without fast hands, it feels a lot slower now, okay? Alright, now we're going to talk about the... SMGs. Pretty much all the SMGs got a uh, nerf to their ADS speed, so like meaning that the speed that you have when you aim down sights with them, it's slower now. And uh, a lot of people are saying that now you kind of... Before, a lot of pros ran stock on their SMGs, um, but now a lot of people are saying like stock on an SMG is actually like a viable thing, because I mean, who really would run stock on an SMG anyway? So um, a lot of people are actually saying it's actually a good thing now, so I don't know. But here you can see me, I'm strafing with the CUDA. Uh, the reason I chose like the CUDA for this little uh, demonstration is because I really noticed that the CUDA has a very fast um, strafe speed, basically. Uh, and as uh, as you can see here, like, yeah, it's very slow now. <laughs> it's a lot slower. They definitely reduced the time that, uh, or they definitely reduced the strafe speed. So you can see that for yourself right there. This pretty big, massive nerf. And the next thing we're going to talk about is the Vesper. The Vesper might finally be useful again. And uh, I say might because this patch did buff it. A little bit it actually got a kind of kind of a lot of buffs like the aiming in time got reduced sprint out speed and the sprint in speed like the time it takes for your gun to recover from sprint that got um, reduced so now you, you can shoot faster after you sprint I have fast hands on this class but I don't have quick draw so you can see that it's pretty much fast um, how it was before maybe um, but the biggest uh, buff that it received was that its recoil is now very much reduced okay now if you guys remember the vesper got patched um maybe about two months ago now and that patch basically made the vesper useless i honestly haven't seen anybody using the vesper and i personally do not use a vesper at all anymore but ever since this patch came out today i put it on i went into a pub and um I, maybe I'm going to show some gameplay of that at the end of the video or something, but honestly, the Vesper, it feels a lot better now. Um, I'm going to do like a recoil test here. So, this is the recoil of the Vesper with grip, and it honestly, it looks bad, right? I know it looks really bad, but this is honestly way better than it was before the patch. Um, before the patch, it was literally like this. <laughs> like the Vesper was not usable. So right now I think the Vesper is actually usable again. It's not as great as it was like in the beginning of the game and uh that's that's warranted like obviously it's not going to be like the as overpowered as it was before, but it's better now. So I would definitely recommend that if you don't have a Vesper class then to try and get one and use the Vesper again because it's honestly really good. And uh this class right here that I'm showing right now on screen is pretty good. It has extended mag and grip on it, and it has overclock, fast hands, scavenger, uh, dead silence, and and I ha I should have awareness right there. I don't know why I have a uh, blaster presser, but it's a really good pub stomping class um, if you want to try it out, so that's very good. And now the biggest thing, I think the biggest um, nerf that happened to the game, like to the very game itself, like game mechanics wise, was that they patched the freaking punch slide if you guys don't know what the punch slide was or like the reload cancel slide um pretty much what it was was like you just slid and then you punched right after you slid and it would pretty much give you like extra momentum after your your uh, slide uh a lot of pros did this method and honestly it was really a viable method and it's not hard to do it because you know you just have to melee while you slide but they actually patched it and honestly i don't really find 
I don't really see like the reason why they had to patch that. I mean, they call it an exploit. Um, I'm gonna put the patch notes on screen, perhaps. Um, it basically, the patch notes said that they removed the ability to add extra like momentum after a slide due to an exploit or something. But honestly, like this wasn't even that bad of a deal. I can understand the G slide why they removed the G slide because that honestly was game changing. But this isn't even that big of a deal. Like when you did this right here, what I'm doing right now, um, after you would slide, you wouldn't have to do that recover animation. Cause see, every time you slide, and I'm just sliding normally, but here, um, every time you slide, you have to do a recover animation um, after you finish sliding, and then you have to sprint again, and then you have to slide again. So it's like very slow. And so what the pretty much what the punch slide was. Uh, helping you to do was to cancel out that reload animation and now they patched it and honestly like I think it sucks they also patched the uh, the reload cancel slide which is basically like when you slide you reload and then you cancel by pressing YY uh, that would also have like the same effect but it would act it's actually like a greater effect in um, when you re uh, when you want to slide with better momentum, it actually had a better effect than the punch slide. But they actually re removed this one as well, and honestly, like, I think it sucks because I think this actually took skill. Like, this is really hard to do it. Like, try to do this with your normal controller. Um, it's impossible to do it if you don't play claw or have a scuff. And, like, I don't know, I just feel like this actually took some skill, and it didn't really mess up the timing a lot. Uh, I understand why they removed the G-slide, because the G-slide removed ti uh, messed up timing on Search and Destroy and stuff like that, but I honestly don't feel like the Punch Slide or the uh, Reload Cancel Slide had that great of an effect on the slide, but I don't know, maybe that's just me, but personally, I, I'm i really kind of bummed out that they removed this feature. Um, I actually was going to post uh, on my movement uh be get better movement videos i was gonna post a uh, tip and trick video on how to do this but i can't now because they removed that feature from the game so pretty bummed out about it i don't really think it needed to be buffed or nerfed or whatever but it's treyarch they seem like they're gonna be patching and buffing this game to no end like honestly this is not the same game that was uh released at launch this is pretty much a different game every single month so i don't know what's gonna happen next but um that's pretty much all for this video they patched a lot of stuff um nothing too major the most major thing i think was that or i would say re nothing too major to the actual like weapons or anything but the most major gameplay mechanic that they actually omitted now is this punch slide and the uh what's it called the reload cancel slide so if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like. I'm pretty bummed out about this, but um, I guess what can you do, right? It's Treyarch. They're going to buff this game until we do something about it. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please drop a like on it. I'm going to be uh, doing a lot more uh, movement tips and tricks videos, so I hope you guys stick around for those. I'm basically teaching you guys how to get better movement in the game, and uh, it's going to be a really good time. So just subscribe so you don't miss any of those videos, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.